Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris in our Song of the Star series. We are currently expanding out this direction as much as possible because there's a fallen empire in that direction. <laughs> so we might be starting, I would imagine, all right, our colony's been established. So our energy deficit went down, but it didn't go away. That's unfortunate. UV lasers have been researched. Can we maybe research? Here's cold fusion power. Let's go ahead and research that. Huh. Yeah, our energy deficit problems um, have been kind of rearing their ugly head after going away in the early series. And now it's just a matter of how the heck... Let's go ahead and clear this. Do we deal with this? We've got a couple of research projects going on out here. And we have a number of ships uh, building mines. For instance, these mines actually haven't been built yet. So that's going to help with our energy deficit issue as the construction ships put um, mines into place in, for instance, the Puncher Z system, in Teropia, in Mirsi as well. And it looks like Hadoufus is also in our space, so we can get some energy out of that. So things are getting better. Anomaly found. Atmospheric readings from Obnil 5A do not, ra do not match simulated projections. Okay, Azuli. <laughs> so Azuli is a new scientist, one of our venerable scientists, Cytovane um, Va Lumex, was that his name, I think? Uh, passed away in the previous episode. So we have a new scientist who has failed several times to be able to do anything useful. So we're giving that scientist a lot of crap. <laughs> and it's fun. Now, I really want to go ahead and build... You know what? Screw it. I'm going to queue up the rest of those there. That's going to add to our energy deficit a little bit, but I mean, that is just so much in the way of additional minerals that, I, that we need to add. Research complete. Very good. Extra monthly influence. Ooh, Frontier Collective's colony development speed and resettlement costs reduced. Yeah, let's do that. So we still have Idrix Kalizem, who's our spark of genius researcher. Idrix is 72, but has done a lot of good research for us. Science officer Azuli Kalizem has issued a report indicating that there are none too pleased having been ordered to study Obno 5A, where they have found nothing of interest. Azuli, I'm going to blame this on you. If you didn't find anything of interest, it's probably because you're not looking hard enough. So, thanks. Appreciate that. Construction complete. Is that so? All right, we need to do a new colony ship. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm trying to remember what the deal is. Oh yeah, that's right. So they're gonna survey. This is the other science ship we had to pull in to do some of the projects that Azuli couldn't. Idrix Kajatek has found... Yeah, go ahead and research that. Complete. As long as you maintain your orders, I'm happy. Alright, so our energy, like I said, our energy credits deficit has gone away. And once we research some technology that improves our power plants, it'll go away a lot faster. Speaking of energy credits going away, let's also do what we were originally going to do and build solar panel networks. And that would help. Research complete. Research complete. That was nice. Ceramo metal armor is done. Complete. Ooh, Granthium mining. Granthium. Uh, ooh, ship hull points plus 10%. Yes, absolutely. I will do that. All right, so let's merge these fleets. Construction complete. It appears that the asteroid Lumleo and the surrounding debris originates from a former planet. Deep within the center of the asteroids, we can find traces of extremely valuable minerals. There is also there are also hints of bacterial life that has now died in the vacuum space. This shows that the celestial body once bore the promise of life. Add the X planet modifier to M4DX1. Amazing. Cool. So this is in the Duix system. Good ways away from where we are. But that is another place where we definitely want to set up mines sooner than later. What's this? There is significant scarring on the surface of this world that cannot be natural from orbit. The massive rifts almost look like writing. Okay, we've seen this already. That's fine. So maybe Azuli can redeem him slash herself there on that planet. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and build a mine there for that pop that's almost in place. Let's go ahead and build a basic science lab here. 
and a basic mining network there. Oh, unpause, definitely. Don't need to have it pause right now. I can go ahead and start clearing out some of this other stuff here as well. Oh, there we go. All right, here's some upgrades we can do. Energy-wise, that's helpful. Construction complete. I really need some research to pop up that would give me the ability to uh, upgrade some of these power plants. That would be the ultimate fix. Also, fairly soon, I need to go ahead and mount um, a bit of a war expedition going that direction. Alien riding. Hey, I think you actually pulled it off. The new scientist did something useful. It's a flipping miracle. Construction complete. Construction complete. Good. All right, so our energy deficit is gone, and our energy surplus is going all over the place, but at least we are making forward progress. Let's have a look at the spaceports and see if there's anywhere else that we can build. Okay, we're still building that all right, new anomaly. This is, again, Azuli Kalizem. A large amount of space uh, ship debris can be found in orbit around this moon, possibly the remnants of some kind of massive fleet action. Research it, please. Get it right this time. And then maybe I'll like you. System survey complete. Okay. With the exception of this new orbital station, I have built all I can in the way of power production. One thing I have not noticed yet is any Batharian power plants in Heinlein. I know they exist, and I know it's different now in that you have to build a special building for that resource on that planet. I'm actually looking around right now to see if there's examples. There's not really. Not in the planets that not in the systems I have that have planets. How are things going here, pray tell? So this is our atomic age civilization that could potentially nuke themselves to death at any moment. We'll see how that goes. Nuke themselves to death. That's an interesting way to put it. Okay, so Mount Graveyard Expedition. And we actually have a couple of Graveyard ex Expeditions. No, no. Research project, and then survey system. Very good. Oh, that's the other graveyard expedition. The other ship is coming back to that. That's why. New colony ship. Thank you. Now, where can I send you? Where was I going to send you? Desert world. Um, tundra world. Those aren't necessarily colonizable by this race, though. So let's pause for a second and look at where we're best. Ocean and Continental would be best for this race. Yeah, this Ocean World is probably the best one. So let's go ahead and establish a colony out there. This is going to be way out in a new area. All right, we're going to go ahead and just establish there. Let's say Nalbrinus. Done. Now, what? I guess I should do a new sector out there once that colony ship gets going. Now, I also seem to remember there being other construction projects for you to work on. Build mining stations, build resource stations. Okay, that's a few of them. It would appear that there are some, there are some energy mining stations that haven't been built out here yet, though.
All right, so you're currently in Teropia. I need you to come here and then there and then there and then there. And then that system will be mined out. Oh, and then there. I remember seeing that in the last episode too. All right, so now I really think Research I need to complete. think in terms of expanding my military presence. Resettlement cost, 15. Colony development cost or speed, plus 25%. Very good. Oh yeah, we're going to go for the living state. Especially while our Idrex Kalizem scientist is still alive. Because this, again, this is a spark of genius level researcher. Alright, once again we have energy credit problems. You know what? Hang on. Hang on. Can we have you focus on energy credits? Can we have that whole sector focus on that, please? That would be nice. Maybe that'll help our deficit. So far, it's not helping our deficit. This is a new uh, a new piece as well from... Uh, I've never heard this before, but this is from the Leviathan's Pack. Now content uh, faction continues to grow. Okay. So Azuli managed to do something. Didn't gain any experience from it, though, that I could see. So you continue to be useless. <laughs> Construction complete. All right, so we're almost done out here. I'm going to go ahead and send... I'm going to let this new scientist that's trying to prove him or herself. I'm going to let that scientist be the one to jump across here and see what happens. It'd be interesting if there was another type of guardian there. We haven't actually encountered any true guardians yet in the true sense of the phrase. All right, so I'm upgrading to planetary administration on our, our core world. Still looking around for places where I could possibly give myself... All right, our deficit just came back full force. I'm guessing it's on account of the colony. Yep, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, I'm getting some Deus Ex vibes right now. That's what this reminds me of. And that's a, that's a high compliment, because the Deus Ex soundtrack is fantastic. Speaking of soundtracks, I've been playing Civil Civilization VI the past little while, and I've heard some uh, some rumblings of the Battlestar soundtrack. Just hints of it. Similar uh, similar keys, similar complete. notes. Construction complete. All right, so the Lumreva has now entered into a new arm of the galaxy that is not guarded by anything. So we're now exploring a new system for the first time, the Holden system. It is in a new section of the galaxy we have never visited before. A new arm. This arm. Our neighboring arm. So cool. Now, I believe... Yes. So let's go ahead and do a um, solar panel network here. That's going to help with the fact that we... have additional upgrades to make. Energy income's coming back, yet again. Lots of colonizable worlds, at least to our slave populations. You can see all the yellow circles indicating colonizable worlds. Not a lot of green. And even where there is green, it's they're colonizable by our slaves, not us. So not the best. Not the most ideal situation. Now, the Lumreva is not detecting any habitable worlds here. I really wish this, this whole faction would, would become less powerful. I wish there was a way. I mean, I'm suppressing them right now. At the cost of influence per month. Special project complete. Okay, Idrix Kajatek gained another 200 experience. Gosh.
So that was at that uh, additional Colony graveyard system. All right, colonies established. Very good. And we have our energy surplus back. All right, we've found Garanthium Ore. That actually looks surprisingly like the Aurelium Ore icon. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm a fan of that. Oh, Mineral Processing Plant Level 3. That would be good, but so would the ability to build Destroyer Assembly Yards. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for that. Because we're going to be we're going to be building lots of larger ships relatively soon. We've done a lot of Empire building, and now it's time to... See what else we can discover. All right, so that new colony has been established. I think we've heard this one already in the uh, in the playthrough so far, but still outstanding music. Complete. As good as Waldatoft is at composing music for Paradox in general, I feel like his forte really is in science fiction. It is in this domain, this kind of the more uh, technical domain, just just the more technical sounds. Um, the orchestral stuff is fantastic that he does. I mean, it's it's good all around, but. Um, I don't know, something about this. It just seems like he's found his niche. It just sounds right. All right, so far we are we are successfully entering this section of the galaxy with no resistance. So if we find a habitable world... Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to start a new sector. Completely forgot. Um... Let's go ahead and go to Planets and Sectors then. Create new sector. Brinis. So this is the Null Brinis sector. So let's go ahead and... Re Actually, we need to change that name. There we go. The name's better. All right. So this is Null Brinis. Let's go ahead and... Let's just say Sekbrin. So we got the Sekmet and Sekbrin sector. Now we need a new leader. I like to make sure that the the that there are leaders in place just to make sure sectors stay as stable as possible. Uh, let's go for this one then. Better construction times. All right. So now we're managing this sector. Let's go ahead and start adding stuff to it. Adufus, Obrium. Pollux, Hyatum, Obnal, Ceridon, Mercy. Okay, so... Ah, oh, Idrix Kalizem has, has died. So this was our freaking genius scientist. <laughs> um, Alright, so... Uh, I guess this would be the best one, just the youngest scientist. That's unfortunate. That that really is sad. Because now society research is going to be much slower without, you know, a, a pro-scientist handling things. Construction complete. So far, I haven't run into anything here resembling... Oh, you know what I need? I need to upgrade these ships. Holy crap, I haven't thought about that. I need to upgrade all of my service ships. I haven't done that at all this series. So as soon as they finish their current jobs, I'm actually going to recall this one. Okay, so we've given that order. All right, the atmospheric patterns of Yel Barasta 1 are highly atypical for a gas giant of modest size. Research it. We have detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of the planet. What manner of organism could possibly live there? Research. And then do that upgrade when you're done. Alright, I'm just 
basically queuing up upgrade orders for every one of my basic ships. We now have a really good number of additional um, constructions to do. Hang on. The music is distractingly good. Holy crap. Can't focus while this is playing. Just want to zone out. Okay. Naldoran, what do you need? Construction. Yep, just more engineering, that's fine. What we assumed was an abnormally small gas giant is in fact not. Beneath a deceptive cover of thick dust swirling in the upper atmosphere lies a regular planet. A barren planet, but a planet nonetheless. This has proven quite embarrassing to the astro astronomical community, community on Nal Zaroth. So this is not a gas giant, this is a barren world. Some kind of burrowing silicon-based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Kandauri 2. As best we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there is evidence to suggest they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Nido. Construction complete. Cool. Still... The malcontent slaves are... They're not causing trouble, per se. Um, but they're, they're still... Oh, we need to close this. We're still in se sector management mode. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can... We need to close that again so it shows properly. There we go. Okay, nothing more to do here. Oh, we need the outliner back. I was like, what's different? What's happened? Couldn't see what was happening. All right, so are you in our space yet? No, you're not. You're almost there. Let's close this. So this is the current space owned by the voices. They're expanding in this direction pretty rapidly. They've got a couple of sectors that are broken out separate from the main... The main domain, as it were. Construction complete. Oh yeah, I forgot they have a bunch of orders. I think I'm gonna this. Yeah, I think this is this ship has been ordered to survey all of these planets or these systems and then jump back this direction. Sensors are reporting a number of possible points of interest within the dense debris field. Yep, we've seen that one before. Go ahead and research it. Not a problem with me. Construction complete. Let's see where else we might be able to do some building. Oh, good. We can do a planetary administration there. That'll help. We also need to build a... Definitely a power hub there. To help with power output. And what else is going on? Hang on. Oh, wait. We've got an unemployed pop. Really? Uh... I mean, I guess you could do power. Um, there are still some primitive farms on this planet. Some of the old... Yeah. Go ahead and demolish those. Now, let's, let's build a hydroponics farm. Same here. Demolish. I wonder if this has any effect on their culture. Like, those are their old farms. If we destroy them, I wonder if they'll in any way, like, integrate better into society. I don't know. I'm just, just trying to think about ways in which it might be easier System survey complete. to integrate these guys. Hey, a golden disc strikes the forward viewpoint of the Lum Reva as it, as it is surveying the weak gravitational field of 91FQW1. The object is recovered, and cursory analysis indicates that the minuscule grooves on the disc surface might be encoded audio and video data authored by some alien civilization. This sounds awfully human. Decode it so we can get society research or engineering research. Let's go for society research. Begins the solar coordinates event chain. Situation log updated. Cool. Okay, new event, solar coordinates. The sun. Whatever beings sent the artifact into space seem to have originated here, it would be prudent to investigate. So this might be humanity here. 
We might we might have just discovered like Voyager one. Track on map. Where is humanity? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, they're so far away. Okay, so we might find them in the distant future when uh, when we've advanced more. We might not have to conquer all that territory to get there, but but wow, holy crap! Can you imagine traveling all that way? I mean, we could do it. Ships it's a good ways away though. All right, construction ship. All right, so this has been upgraded. Very good. Once you come back out here and. All right, that is within Voices Space, so go ahead and build some stations, please. Systems I'm glad we haven't had any crap from this Fallen Empire. We've generally left them alone. As soon as we saw them, we're like, oh, nope, 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 other direction, and we haven't done anything. I haven't even had a ship in this area for the longest time. So hopefully that will keep them happy but anyway i'm really intrigued by the fact that we just found that um that we found the solar coordinates the sun that to me suggests uh that humanity exists in this galaxy we might actually find earth um as the voices which is so cool um i don't know at what stage their civilization will be um but i don't think i've ever encountered this in stellaris before so it's very interesting to see how this is going to pan out oh god this game is just so cool anyway we're at the 26 almost 27 minute mark here i will go ahead and cut this episode here in the next one we are going to continue exploring this direction possibly colonizing uh, into this section of the galaxy now that we have access to it and also we do i've been mentioning this for a while now i haven't been very good at actually doing it but we do need to build up an attack force and go after some of the aliens that are keeping us from exploring much closer to our space because i want to expand here so ideally, I want to expand in both directions. So we're going to do that probably in the next episode or two because I've got more than enough naval capacity for it. And we just, we need to see some combat. We've been empire building for a couple of episodes here, which is fun. And there is definitely, I know you're out there. There's a, there's a group of gamers who really, really enjoy not only that kind of gameplay experience, but also that kind of watching experience. And so um, it's good to mix it up though. Well, we had some empire building for a bit and this series is an empire building series to be fair, but some combat I think is in order. So we're going to work on that in the next episode or two. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If you're not subbed already, I upload new episodes in... Song of the Stars. Oh, good stretch. Song of the Stars every day at 6 Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT minus 4 for those of you not in the States. And comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next episode.